and I was gonna this was gonna be a slick start and it's not Good morning everyone welcome to another episode of velocity kinetics or this morning on the 29th of April you might notice my surroundings have changed ever so slightly um it's because the swace has gone in because the windows are rattling apparently it's a known fault in Toyota Corolla but the owners forums have not been clear how to fix it if it's fixable um so I basically rolled out of bed and gone gone straight to the garage but you'll notice the surroundings are different why am I recording because I'm in a Vitara I've never had a Vitara, I never test drove one, never been in one. Um, so this is uh, what I would call um, not an in-depth, I'd, I'd, I would say uh, a quick flash at a Vitara. So interior, um, steering wheel for my liking is a bit on the thin side. Got a six-speed manual, gearbox was felt a little bit notchy, but I'm not going to criticise that too much because... I haven't had a manual for a long time and maybe in hindsight the Baleno gearbox was a bit notchy in itself. Um, let's just flip the camera around so we get... So it has a neutral switch fitted. Um, so this is the key. Now for a car that starts at what, 25, 26,000? On the one hand, I do like the Suzuki key. It's very utilitarian. It's key, it locks. What else do you need to do? But at the same time, it's a 25,000 pound plus car. I'd expect a little bit more than that. So there we are. That's our startup. We've got a hybrid model today. Start it up. Quite quiet. We've got this one's a hybrid, got the stop start on it. I've driven it back, it's been alright. Um this is our thing. So apologize for the radio Suffolk. Now we've got a plunge mechanism on the reverse, because without it it won't really do anything, but what is missing for me is no reverse camera, which again I would have expected on a car that's going to cost this much. Uh, interior, it's Suzuki utilitarian. The seats are okay, not the greatest. Um, again, I've probably been spoiled by seats to be honest, but there we are. Um, it's weird being that up that high. Weird being up high, so setting on its contes. Uh, it is wider than I would have expected because it doesn't just doesn't look like it barely fit on the driveway, to be honest. But most new houses these days don't have much of a parking space. Um, so rear leg room, yeah, appears all right. Doesn't look like it'll be the most generous for myself if I got in the back. Doors are nice and light. Yeah, no reverse camera on this model, that's a shame. Let's have a look in the boot. That is not actually too bad. Could be better. No spare, probably just uh, self-inflating fluid. But again, though, it's a case of, well, what do you expect? It's cheap Suzuki utilitarian. Missing its tonneau cover. Sorry, it's missing its tonneau cover, so I did that thing where I start looking at something and forgot about it so let's see what we're looking at if we flattened it <sighs> see that should really go flat in my opinion it should be done how it does it in the sway so it does it's done it in volvos for years that should go completely flat not as in there's something broken that's just a design fault in my opinion quite the design fault and again for a car we're spending what 20 plus thousand pounds on i'd expect a little better than than that. Apparently it's doing 48 miles a gallon, which for something that you you could argue is about as aerodynamic as a brick is quite a surprise. Um, I'm not sure I like the high up driving position. That's it. I sometimes don't like the low down position either. Um, let's try getting in the back. In my, that's more or less where my position would be. Oh, good fucking god. Good lord. Well, the back seat is quite stiff, but I don't know how well you can. That, I've got about my knee room. Got a little bat hand width before my knee bashes the seat. Um, pretty much the same back seat as I had in the Baleno, really. Maybe a bit stiff for a long journey, but it's okay. We've got Isofix in there too, so good for people, families expecting kids. Um, I suppose that's probably a good way to describe this car. If you've got kids, it's wrong to say it's, it's wrong to call it 
cheap. Wrong to call the car cheap, but it is uh, it's cheaper, shall we say. Let's have a look and see what we got going on under here. Drove okay. Again, for such a big bonnet, I'd, for such a car like this, I'd expect. Oh, there we are, hang on. You didn't see me put it in the wrong place. Whole joke in there somewhere. Standard booster jet. I imagine this is the 1.4 4 pot. Certainly there's no turbo noise. It's hybrid, but I can't see where its hybrid pack is unless that is its hybrid pack over there. That's okay. Well, this is the sort of vehicle Sarah would like, so we'll see. We'll see. For me, though, for me, it's very much a case of. Not quite thanks, but no thanks. I suppose for me, the, the what is quite interesting, what's quite telling. Oh, let's see if we can get that to find it. Let's try and get that to find it. There we are. I suppose for me, what it what it really is for me is this car is a. Uh, it's more of a surprise today because I was expecting to be given a Swift, and when I got there, there were a lot of the luck of the uh, sort of. 2012 plate Swift sat around and there was and there was a new S cross. I actually did hope for an S cross. I did say I did say there was a there was a Vitara part next to me, not this one. There was an older one. I thought, oh well, that'll be okay with that for today. So actually, in many ways, it's plus point that I've not been given a Swift for the Swayze. Better that I've been given a Vitara unless some, they've listened to some feedback. Um, it's okay so far. Like I say, it's only a quick quick look round, quick review of it. It's okay. I have to have one more longer term to make my mind up. I thought I was going to take it for blasting right away while the 814 went out. I'll take it back. I'll just insert here into the video before I finish off when I, when I thought I wasn't actually going to drive it. I drove the Vitara down the uh, A14 briefly, did a bit of stop start traffic with it as well. It drove better than I thought it was going to. The gearbox felt a bit notchy, but I won't hold it against it because I haven't driven, I think that was the first manual I'd driven in about 14 months. So I'll give it a little bit of slack there. The car getting it up to uh, dual carriageway speeds, motorway speeds, it didn't argue. Um, it wasn't a slouch. It actually got itself shifting quite well. Fifth into sixth didn't feel like a natural move. It didn't like it. Um, but again, probably more me than it is uh, than it is the car. Uh, road noise, quite quiet. Steering wheel, steering didn't feel the most reassuring, but I think it's because I just prefer a thicker steering wheel over what's in the Vitara. Um, so it was okay, but not, not the greatest. Um, I will say when I came off the dual carriageway to then do a loop through the village we used to live in uh, to get back onto the dual carriageway to come back the other direction, um, I took a corner about the normal speed I would have done in the Swayze or the Baleno when I had it. And it, whilst the car didn't feel like it was going to go over anything like that, I wasn't do, doing that sort of excessive speed. It felt like... I think I could tell it was on skinnier tyres than, than some of its compatriots. Um, or its classmates, whatever you want to describe it as. Um, it sort of contributes to sort of the squatty, boxy look of the Vitara, I think. But yeah, I'd have to I'd have to be very I'd have to really change how I drive, and I realise out of context it might paint me out to sound like I'm a bit of a lunatic behind the wheel, which is not the not the case. Um, as in, I'd have to allow for laws of physics, or at least I'm used to how the car felt in that scenario. Um, the stop start was easy to get used to, and the problem is it's it's not it's everyone else around you won't let you get used to it. So you've you've I I found, and other times I've had it on a Swift as well for a courtesy car. I found that if I've been like four or five cars back in traffic, I need to be paying attention to what car number two in the queue is doing, if I can pay attention to it. 
um, as in if I can see what it's going to going to do. Um, but overall, driving it, it, it was okay. Not the greatest. I still, I, I suppose the best way to sum it up is, do I want a Vitara? No, I don't want a Vitara. Not 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 for me. But Sarah has said she would happily have a Vitara, and I'd happily have the Vitara as a second car. If that makes sense, I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't want one as my as my daily. Um, but if we did ever get something like a Vitara, it has confirmed to Sarah and myself that I can't. I, I couldn't then drop down to something like a Ford Focus sized vehicle. I would have to stay with something the size I've got, but I could drop to a saloon. So who knows? Um, yeah, it was, I wasn't expecting to be dog rot, but, um, and I wasn't expecting to love it, but I suppose it's, it's caught me out by being exactly what I expect it to be, if that makes sense. Try to look after yourself.